Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to crochet the oldie but goodie granny square I call the classic gran. This is the classic granny square that is often the one most people think of first when talking about granny squares. As always, you can find the written instructions, the symbol chart, and all the details in the blog post over on my website. I'll drop the link in the description below. Let's get started. So starting our foundation with color A, and for color A, I am using white. A little hard to see on this white background, but here's the white yarn I'm using. And we're going to begin with our slip stitch. So again, we do a simple slip stitch where we wrap the yarn around our first two fingers, bring it back and cross it over, flip your fingers, take your hook underneath the first and over the second, pull it through, and there you go. Now you just pull the two ends and you have your slip stitch. You can pull them apart and they cinch it right up to the hook. There's your uh, slip stitch to start and don't pull it too tight. You want some room in there. And we're going to start our foundation with chain four. So one, two, three, and four. And to join our ring that we're going to work into, we go into that first stitch and we pull the yarn through and through the loop on the hook and we've created a ring and that is our foundation. So continuing with color A, we're going to go into round one. So in round one, we're going to work all of our stitches into this ring that we just created. So we're going to start with a chain three, one, two, three, and that counts as our first double crochet. And now we're going to work two more double crochet into that ring. So yarn over, insert the hook into the ring, yarn over and pull through three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two loops. That's another double crochet and one more double crochet. And we're going to finish that one. So theoretically we have three double crochets because we have our chain three, two double crochets. And now we want to chain three, one, two, and three. So now we want to work three more double crochet into that same ring. So again, yarn over and insert into that same ring. So all of our stitches are going to go into this same ring on round one. So we want to work three more double crochet. So there's two and one more three double crochet. So there we have the three chain, three double crochet. That's our repeat. We want to do that two more times. Chain three, three double crochet. Repeat it two more times and I will meet you back at the end of the repeat. Okay, here we are back at the end of the repeat. We repeated our chain three, three double crochet two more times. Next, we want to chain three one, two, three, and then we're going to slip stitch to finish off our round into the third chain of our starting chain. So one, two, three, right into there. Insert your hook into that into that third chain, yarn over, pull through that chain and through the hook or the loop on the hook. And that finishes off round one. We're going to clip our yarn. And you follow along with me. I clip my yarn at the end of every round. Make sure it's long enough that you can darn it in. And now we're ready for round two. So round two, we're going to go color B. And my color B is going to be this beige. So we are going to join our beige, color B, with a slip stitch in any one of these chain three spaces. You can pick any one of them, again, on the chart. I show you I join in a line all the way up, but in practicality, it's easier to read the chart that way, but in practical uses, I suggest that you move around your motif so that you don't have all the ends hanging in one spot. So we'll move to this next chain three corner, and I'm going to pull up a loop of my color B. And again, round two, we start with a chain three. One, two, three. So that counts as our first double crochet. 
and now we want to work two more double crochet into the same chain three space that we joined in. So yarn over, insert your hook into that space, pull up a loop, we have three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, and pull through the last two loops. And one more double crochet into that same space, and you'll complete that last one, and it works as three double crochet because that first chain three counts as your first double crochet. So the next thing we do is we're gonna chain one and we're gonna skip these next three double crochet from round one and we're gonna work into this next chain three space. We're gonna work a full corner this time. So into this chain three space, I wanna work three double crochets. So one double crochet two double crochet and a third double crochet and everything's in brackets so it all has to be worked into this chain three space. So now I want to chain three, one, two, three and now I'm going to work three double crochet again into this same chain three space. So the whole thing, this is creating our corner. So that's a lot into that chain three space. Three more double crochet I'll just finish this one off. So you can see I worked three double crochet, chain three, and three double crochet, all into that one space. So now that we have that corner finished, we are going to go ahead and repeat that, that whole thing that we just did two more times. So the chain one, skipping over these three double crochet, and then working this whole corner. You're gonna repeat that two more times and I'll meet you back here at the end of the repeat. And here we are back at the end of the repeat. We've repeated it two more times and now we'll continue to finish off round two. So after our repeat, we chain one, we skip the next three double crochet and now we're gonna work three double crochet into the same chain three space as our join. So we're actually working the second half of the, the corner. We worked the first half at the beginning and we're gonna complete this corner now. So three more double crochet into the same chain three space as where we joined. So that's two and that's three. Now we wanna chain three. And then to complete the round, we're gonna slip stitch into the third chain of our starting chain. So count up one, two, three, insert the hook, pull up a loop and pull it all the way through the loop on the hook and you've completed round two. So again, I cut my yarn a nice length here so that I can darn that in and we're ready for round three. So before we move on to round three, it's important to always count our stitches. So if we look at the written pattern, it tells us at the end what we should have. So at the end of round two, I should have eight sets of three double crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four chain three spaces, one, two, three, and four. And four chain one spaces, one, two, three, and four. So always important to count your stitches so that you don't get off track and find out too many rounds later why things aren't working and then have to rip it all the way back. So let's get started on round three. Round three, we want color C, and for me, it's gonna be the blue. So we are again going to slip stitch in any one of the chain three spaces. So again, I'm gonna rotate and move into the next one. So into this chain three space, I'm going to pull up a loop of color C. And again, we're gonna start with a chain three. So there's three and we're going to work that counts as our first double crochet. We're going to work two more double crochet into that chain, same chain three space. So yarn over, insert our hook in and I always insert it under the tail so that I catch that tail into the next stitch and then it kind of locks it into place so it's not waggling around and getting in my way. So now we finish that double crochet and do one more. 
and this works out to three double crochets because our chain three counts as our first one. So after we've worked those two extra double crochet into there, we go ahead and chain one, and then we skip the next three double crochets from the previous round, and we're gonna work three double crochet into the next chain one space. So again, we're gonna go ahead and work three double crochet, and you'll start to see a pattern. You're always working three double crochet into these spaces. So there's three double crochet into the chain one space. Then we go ahead and we chain one and we skip the next three double crochet and now we're on to our corner. And in the square brackets, we're gonna work three double crochet, chain three, three double crochet into this chain three space. So here we go, three double crochet. There's one, there's two, and there's three. And now we wanna chain three, one, two, three. And now we wanna work three more double crochets. So one, two, and we wanna work one more, and that completes our corner. Three double crochet, chain three, three double crochet. And now we're going to do that same, everything we just did there, we're gonna repeat that two more times. So the chain one, the three double crochet, chain one, and then the corner. So we're gonna repeat that two more times, and I'll meet you back here at the end of the repeat. So now we have repeated our repeat two more times, and then we've gone from the single star to the double star one more time, which takes us to this three double crochet in the chain one space and a chain one. So now we're gonna end round three by finishing off our corner. And we do that by working three double crochet into the same chain three space that we joined. So there's one, two, and one more, three, and then we chain three, and we're gonna slip stitch into the third chain of the starting chain. So we insert our hook, pull a loop through, and pull it through the loop on the hook, and we have completed round three. I can cut my yarn long enough to darn it in. Pull it through, and we've completed round three three. So we're ready for round four and we're going to join our color D. We're working with four colors this time. So again we're going to join it in any one of these chain three spaces for the corner so I just rotate to the next one and I pull up a loop and again we get going by chaining three. So you'll see a pattern here the fun thing about this basic granny square is it's really the same row over and over, just expanding outwards. So we've done our chain three. Now we're gonna work two double crochet into that same chain three space, just like we've been doing. So now we have three, because our chain three counts as a double crochet. And now we're going to chain one, and we're gonna skip the next three double crochets and we're gonna work three double crochet into this chain one space. So here we go with three double crochet, moving a little faster now, cause we've done this before. And then chain one, and we're gonna repeat that twice. So we did it once. Now we're gonna go into the next chain one space and work three double crochet and then chain one, and that's us repeating this section twice. And here we are back at our next corner. So we're gonna skip over these three double crochet and work everything into this next three chain space that's in our square brackets. So we're gonna work three double crochet. So that's two, and then one more. And then we're gonna work chain three, and then 
three more double crochet into this same chain three space. So we go one, two, and one more to complete our corner. So we'll take a look at this. So we worked up this side and around our first corner. So we want to repeat what we've done here two more times for these two sides and then again to the double star which will take us to our final corner. I'll meet you back at the end of the repeats. So we're back at the end of the repeat. We did the first section and then we repeated. So we did this section and this section. So that was the two times repeat. Then we went back to the star and just repeated that to the double star. And here we are at the final corner. And what we want to do there is we've already done our chain one. We want to do three double crochet into the same chain three space that we joined in. So this probably looks familiar because we've done this at the end of each of the rounds. So three double crochet. And now we want to chain three, one, two, and three. And we're going to finish off our round by chain by slip stitching into the third chain of our starting chain. So we pull the yarn through and through the one on the hook and we are completed. I'm going to clip my yarn and we'll take a look at this. So make sure again that you count your stitches at the end of each of the rounds. I tell you what you should have. So we're at the end of round four. We should have 16 sets of three double crochet. That includes everything in the corners, all the sets of three double crochets. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. We should have four chain three spaces, and those are our corners one, two, three, and four. And we should have twelve chain one spaces, which are these right here one, two, three. Four, five, and six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, eleven, twelve. So we have everything that we're supposed to have at the end of round four. So now we can move on to round five and we're going to go back to color A. So I'm going to do one more round. The pattern I have just is the five rounds like this, but basically you could create an entire blanket just by expanding outwards. You're always just including one more of these three double crochet clusters as you go. The corners are always the same. So let's just do round number five. Again, I'm going to rotate and join in a th chain three space. So we'll insert our hook in and again, I'm color A, which is white for me. And I'm going to pull up a loop and I'm going to go ahead and chain three. So this is all familiar now. We're going to do two double crochet into our same chain three space and you'll see that that's creating the first half of that corner and we finish the corner when we come around the other side. Okay, so let's keep going. We want to chain one and then we want to skip these three double crochet and work into the next chain one space and we're going to do that by working three double crochet again into that first chain one space. So now we've done chain one, three double crochet into this chain one space. We're going to repeat that three times. So we did it once. That counts as our first chain one. Skip these three into the next one. So this will be the second time. And this is our third double crochet. And then one more time, chain one, skip these three and work three double crochet into this chain one. And this will bring us over to our next corner. And we're going to go ahead and chain one and work into this next chain three space. So everything in the square brackets goes into this chain three space, three double crochet. So you can see once you get going on an afghan for this, you, you get the rhythm and you just do the same row over and over, just expanding it by one more cluster. So chain three. 
and finish the other half of this corner with three more double crochet. So that's two and that's three. So I'm moving a little faster because it's all the same stitches. So there is our first set right up here. And then we want to repeat this two more times around our square. And then we're going to do from star to double star to finish this last side. And I'll meet you at this last corner. So here we are, we've completed our repeat two more times. And then to the double star brings us to the next corner, which is our final half of the corner to finish off round five. So we're going to go ahead and work three double crochet into the same chain three space that we joined in. So there's two and one more for three. We're going to chain three. One, two, three. And now we are going to join to finish off our round in that third chain of the starting. So pull your loop all the way through. I'm going to clip my yarn again long enough to darn in. And let's take a look at this. So that is the end of round five. We should have 20 sets of three double crochet. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. We have four chain three spaces in each of the corners. One, two, three, and four. And we have 16 chain one spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. So we have everything we're supposed to have that's the end of round five, which basically finishes the granny square part. Round six, seven, and eight are all going to be single crochet borders. So I'll walk you through that. I like to frame my motifs and I often use those in patterns as well. When I'm making blankets, I like to have that nice little border around. It makes joining the squares really easy. So we'll move on to round number six next, and we're going to be back to color B, which is my brown. So round number six, we are going to slip stitch join in any one of these chain three spaces. So let's just take a look at the back. I keep rotating around joining in a different place and see how it leaves my ends in different areas so that when I go to darn those in, they're not all going to be in one line and bulk up one section of my motif. So again, I tell everyone the charts have you joining it all in a row only so that you know where it's easier to read that way but I don't necessarily mean you to join them there. You can, but I like to move my joins around. So with the squares, they're, they're all uh, symmetrical. So it really doesn't matter where you join because you're going to end up at the same place. If it matters where you join, I specifically say on the pattern, join in this specific stitch of the previous round. So that doesn't happen often, but it will. And I will say so if I need you to do that. So, we're going to join C in any one of these chain three spaces, or sorry, we're going to join B, color B, which is my brown. And we're going to pull it through and we're going to chain one. Now we're going to single crochet. So we're not single crocheting in that chain three space. We're going to go ahead and single crochet in each of the next three stitches. So go ahead and work a single crochet in the next each of the next three stitches. And then you're going to sew single crochet into this chain one space. So just go right into the chain one space, drop a loop and finish your single crochet. Now you're going to repeat what we just did four more times across to the next corner. So we'll work through that single crochet in each of the next, oops, three, oops, I keep grabbing the wrong strand. There we go. Each of the next three stitches and single crochet in the chain one space. So that's two repeats. And we're going to go ahead and three more. You're just pulling up a loop, just doing a single crochet and then into the chain one space. Same thing, single crochet. And we've got one more repeat here. One, two, three and then into the chain one space. 
And now we're going to single crochet in each of the next three stitches. One, two, and three. And then we're going to work into this chain three space. So in the brackets, we have single crochet, chain two, single crochet. So single crochet, chain two, and single crochet all into that chain three space. So now we have worked our way up one side of our motif. We're going to repeat this three more times across here, down here, and across here. And I'll meet you back at the end of the repeat in the final corner. So we're back at the end of round six. So we've done the repeat. So we did one, two, and three. And the repeat ended with single crochet, chain two, single crochet. So we're going to complete our round by simply slip stitching in our first single crochet. And that's all there is to that. We will clip our yarn and we have finished round six. So with round six, we're supposed to have 84 single crochet and four chain two spaces. We know these four chain two spaces belong to the corners. And then you want to have 84 single crochet rounds. So you might want to check that all of your sides are the same and that you want to have 84 total. So that's 21 single crochet per side. So 21 times four is 84. And next we're going to move on to round seven, which is very much the same as this. And we're going to use color number C or color letter C and that's going to be our blue. Okay, we are on to round seven. So we are going to join in any chain two space. So again, I rotate to the next corner and I'm going to join in this chain two space and I'm going to join my blue, which is color C by just pulling up a loop. And we're pretty much working the same as the last row, just different numbers. So we're going to chain one and we're going to start working into the single crochet. So this time, everything's a single crochet. So we're going to single crochet in each of the next 21 single crochet. And I'll meet you back here after the 21 at the next corner. And we work into the last of our 21 single crochet. And now we're working into our next corner. So we want to single crochet, chain two, and single crochet into that same chain two space to create our corner. So there we worked our first side. We want to repeat that three more times. So we want to repeat across the top, down the side and across the bottom. So three more times and I'll meet you back at the final quarter after the repeat. So there we are. We have done round seven. We did the first section and then we repeated it three more times and we're back to our last corner. And all we have left to do is to end the round by slip stitching into our first stitch of that round. Cut my end. Pull it through. That's round seven. And all we have left now is round eight. We're going to be working with color D, which is my putty color, I believe it's called. It's kind of a beige. So let's get started on round number eight. So round eight, we're going to join in any one of these chain two, chain two spaces. So again, I'm going to rotate my work and work into this one. And I'm going to pull up a loop. My yarn's all tangled. Pull up a loop and chain one. And now I'm going to work a single crochet into the next stitch in each of the 23 stitches across. So it's pretty even work just like we've been doing. So go ahead and start your single crochets and I'll meet you at the next corner. Okay, so I've worked my last of the 23 stitches and we're going to work into our corner. So we're going to work single crochet into the chain two space, chain two, single crochet again as we turn our corner. And now we go ahead and we do what we've done on this side. We repeat across, down and around. So we're repeating it three more times and I'll meet you back here at the end of the repeat. 
And here we are at the end of round eight. We've done our first side and then we've repeated it three more times, which brings us to our last corner. We've done our single crochet chain two single crochet to end a repeat. And now all we have to do is slip stitch in the first single crochet to join, cut our yarn, and we are finished. That's the end of round eight and it's the end of our pattern for the simple gran, classic granny square. And I love this pattern because you can really just use up so much of your scrap yarn by doing every round a different color and make a whole bunch of these squares and join them all together and you get this beautiful multicolored blanket. Thanks so much for crocheting with me today. I hope you had fun. Remember, if you enjoyed this tutorial, please hit the subscribe button and you will be notified of all new tutorials as they come out. And again, you can find the instructions and more for this tutorial over on my website. Check for the link in the description below. Enjoy and I'll see you next time.